Good afternoon, Commissioner Silvis here. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Judge Hatcher. We're getting everyone uh, connected, and then we'll get started with uh, the hearing portion. Commissioner Holzman's here. Excellent. Thank you, Commissioner Holzman. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Commissioner Rupa here. Good afternoon, Commissioner. Commissioner Coke Myers here. Good afternoon, Commissioner Coke Meyer. Good afternoon. Hey, Judge, I got a, if I have a stretch of land here where I lose signal, I'll, I'll call back in, but just want to let you know. Absolutely. Thank you, Commissioner. I appreciate that. Commissioner Coleman is here. Thank you, Commissioner Coleman. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'll be going to mute now. Thank you. Understood. All right, let's go ahead and uh, uh, do we have our report reporter, uh, Ms. Hurst? Ms. Hurst, if you could uh, turn on your camera or give me a hello, let me know that you're here. She's here, Judge. She's oh, just okay. I can see her. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, let's go on the record then. Uh, first, I would just ask that everyone uh, please mute themselves unless they are speaking. This will cut down on the noise level and present, prevent any audio feedback. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, thank uh, everyone for their attendance and joining today. Uh, for the record, today is August 8th, uh, 2022. The Missouri Public Service Commission has set this time aside uh, for a local public hearing to give members of the public a chance to comment about Evergy Missouri Metro's electric general rate increase application. And that's file number ER-2022-0129. Uh, there might also uh, be some witnesses here for Evergy Missouri West. Uh, they also have a concurrent rate increase application going on uh, those local public hearings will be tomorrow, and there will be a combined hearing uh, Wednesday at noon. The Missouri Public Service Commission regulates the rates charged by public utility companies in Missouri to ensure that those rates are just and reasonable. The commission also regulates the quality of service and safety of the operations of public utilities. The commission is made up of five commissioners. The commissioners are appointed by the governor to fix terms and confirmed by the Senate. The commissioners employ a staff of engineers, accountants, attorneys, financial analysts, and other specialists in the field of utility regulation. My name is Charles Hatcher. I am the regulatory law judge and will preside over this hearing. 
uh, as you heard at the introductions, uh, all of the uh, Missouri Public Service Commission commissioners are in attendance. Uh, with me today, for the record, are Chairman Ryan Sylvie, Commissioners Scott Roop, Maida Coleman, Jason Holzman, and Glenn Kolkmeyer. This is an official hearing of the Missouri Public Service Commission, and the statements and witnesses, uh, testimony of witnesses, will be recorded by a court reporter and are given under oath. Uh, the commission has not made any decisions in this case. I want to make that very clear. This is an ongoing case. And because it is an ongoing case, that also means that the commissioners and myself aren't available to answer questions. Uh, they have to remain impartial until after all of the evidence is presented in the case. Let's go ahead and start with entries of appearance for the record for Evergy Metro. Uh, good afternoon, Roger Steiner appearing for Evergy Metro. My address is 1200 Main Street, Kansas City, Missouri, Suite 1600. That's zip code 64105. Thanks. Thank you very much. And for the staff of the commission. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Eric Vandergriff from the staff counsel's office. My address is, oh, well, representing the Missouri Public Service Commission staff. My address is PO Box 360, 200 Madison Street, Jefferson City. The zip code is 65102. Thank you. And Office of the Public Council. Good afternoon. John Kleiser appearing on behalf of the Missouri Office of the Public Council. My business address is Governor Office Building, Suite 650, 200 Madison Street, P.O. Box 2230, Jefferson City, Missouri, 65102. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. We have a number of interveners in the case. Uh, I'm not going to do a roll call for any of those uh, attorneys that are present. If anyone would like to be recorded uh, on the record as being present, uh, would they go ahead and speak up now? Uh, this is for the attorneys uh, of the other parties. Okay, we'll move on. Uh, the process uh, is going to be uh, calling the names that I have listed on the pre-registration, and I'm just going to call them in the order that they appear. Uh, when I do call your name, please go, please go ahead and unmute. Um, and if you would speak up, it's a, a weird way of how WebEx works, but that'll bring you to everyone's front screen. Uh, and then I will uh, place you under oath and ask you to state and spell your name and then ask for your comments on the, uh, the rate case. Uh, if you are calling in uh, to unmute, you press star six. That's star six if you called in on a, a telephone or the telephone function of your smartphone. The first name I have on the list is Dawn Rice. Uh, Dawn Rice. Your Honor? Yes. There is a Dawn in the list of participants but she is muted. Okay, uh, we'll come back. She might have stepped away uh, for just a moment. Uh, and for anyone that did not pre-register and would like to testify, I will ask uh, for those witnesses at the end of my list of pre-registered witnesses. Uh, I have two more pre-registered. I have Beth Pauley, P-A-U-L-E-Y. Okay, we'll give Ms. Pauly a minute. We'll come back around and call her again. Jen DeRose. That's me, hi. Yes, Ms. DeRose. Um, let's uh, go ahead and get you sworn in. Uh, do you solemnly swear or affirm 
that the testimony you were about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Thank you. Uh, would you please state and spell your last name for the record? Yes, it's DeRose, D-E, capital R-O-S-E. Thank you. And Mr. Rose, uh, please go ahead and uh, give us your comments. Thank you so much. Um, thank you all for the opportunity to testify today. Uh, my name is Jen DeRose, and I'm Missouri's Beyond Coal campaign representative for the Sierra Club, which is the nation's oldest environmental organization. Our Missouri chapter alone has over 10,000 members and over 45,000 supporters. I'm here to discuss how Evergy's proposed rate increases will impact vulnerable populations, fail to address the climate crisis, and fail to provide the most affordable, reliable energy to its customers. Evergy spends nearly $500 million a year on coal imported from Wyoming. That's just the fuel, not counting the hundreds of millions of dollars spent on keeping outdated, heavily polluting plants running every year. Coal costs, like all fossil fuel costs, are variable and unpredictable. These costs are passed down to customers who are increasingly unable to pay their bills. We expect, we, pardon, we expect Evergy's requested rate increase to add an extra $100 a year for every Evergy's Missouri customers. 13% of Missourians live below the poverty line, meaning they're already at risk of energy insecurity and face a high energy burden, which means that they pay a much higher percentage of their income to keep their electricity on than they can afford. In the Kansas City region, in Evergy territory, low-income Black and Latino communities experience an energy burden averaging double that of white communities. As a monopoly utility, Evergy should be using the best available resources and tech to run its business. Instead, it continues to invest heavily in coal, a generation source that is two to four times more expensive than reliable clean energy options, as well as being harmful to human health and the environment. 80% of coal plants in the United States are more expensive to operate than building and operating wind and solar facilities, according to a recent report from Energy Innovation. As the climate as the climate warms, water shortages become more common, even in water-rich Missouri. According to NERC's reliability assessment for 2022, drought conditions can cause low water levels in rivers that are dependent on by utilities for cooling purposes, and this could create reliability issues as climate change continues to wreak havoc, havoc on our weather patterns. And of course, climate change is worsened by the burning of coal, creating a vicious cycle of heat and drought that can be catastrophic for grid reliability. Look no further than the last two weeks in St. Louis for ample evidence of climate catastrophes. Uh, it's sort of a harbinger of what's to come. Now, renewables, including wind and solar, along with energy efficiency, demand... Mr. Response. Rose? Yes, sir. I, I see that you're a party in the case. And I, I just want to make sure that your testimony here at the public hearing isn't overlapping with the pre-filed testimony from Sierra Club. No, it should not be. Okay, um, a couple more minutes, please go ahead. Oh, sure, thank you kindly. Um, so where was I? I guess um, we can skip to the end. I, I, I would uh, really appreciate disallowing continued investments in outdated tech and um, modern mo modeling for future IRPs to save customers money and invest in the health and well-being of our communities. And I do truly appreciate this opportunity to testify. Um, I really appreciate these public hearings. Thank you very much. Are there any uh, commissioner questions for Ms. DeRose? Thank you all. Uh, Ms. DeRose, you are excused from our virtual witness stand, so to speak. Uh, I'm gonna circle back and ask for the first two names of witnesses, and that is Dawn Rice. Ms. Dawn Rice. And Beth Pauley. Okay, I'm not hearing anyone speak up. Let's go ahead and open it to anyone else that is on the the WebEx or the uh, the call in. Uh, anyone else wish to testify?
Your Honor, I apologize. I assume that you mentioned this earlier, but I wanted to remind participants that anybody who has called in would need to hit star six to unmute themselves. Otherwise, we will not be able to hear them. Sorry. No, excellent point. Excellent point. If you have called in on a phone, uh, it is star six to unmute. Thank you very much, Mr. Kleiser. I'll give it one more minute and then we'll go ahead and uh, and close our hearing today. Uh, once again, we are uh, looking for testimony from Don Rice, Beth Pauley, or anyone interested uh, from the WebEx uh, audience. Okay, with that, I would like to thank all of our participants today for their testimony. I would ask if there is any uh, closing remarks from any of our commissioners today. And again, for the record, we have all five of our commissioners in attendance today. Thank you, Judge. I have no remarks. No remarks. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner Roop. Uh, if thank anyone you, Judge. does. No remarks. Thank you, Commissioner Holzman. If anyone does have any additional comments or they know of someone who could not be present and would like to make a comment, uh, you may make written comments by going to the PSC's webpage, and that's uh, psc.mo.gov. Uh, you can also ask questions of the Office of the Public Council. Uh, their, web, uh, their email address is mopco at opc dot mo dot gov. Uh, this hearing is now adjourned and we are off the record. Thank you everyone and uh, thank you judge.